部二宮だね私も高校の演劇部入ってるんだ Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to the channel. My name is Wayward Parallax and today we are playing Cost Buddy Book of Shadows. We are picking up right where we left off last time. Um but if you didn't watch the the video, this this girl that you see, we we accidentally killed her and then we saved her. So um Yeah, I think that's literally it, pretty much. They, they searched a while for her Ayumi as well, but they didn't find her. Um, and Mario's a bit, like, you know, concerned about this this girl, because she's, she's younger than they are. Um, but she also has bruises similar to Mayu, um, who has, like, a bunch of, like, bruises on her stomach. So, yeah. Um, I've also got the fan on, so I'm, I'm, I apologize if you hear that at any point, it's just very hot in my room right now, so, <laughs> and I, I don't want to open the window just in case if I bother anyone, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the fan on and hopefully it won't bother you too much. You are? I'll bet you're an actress. Well, I do act, but I also write scripts and make costumes. We don't have a lot of members, but I don't mind. I love everything about stage drama. That's amazing. You can do all that. Nana, oh, you don't mind if I call you by your first name, do you? Of course not. You're welcome to call me Mayu too. Anyway, you really have an amazing figure. I'd love it if you'd let me make some clothes for you sometime. Oh wow, would you? Though, there are probably much slimmer girls out there that your talents would be better suited to. Like my old friend, Nari. She's practically a jewel. She's so pretty. And my friend Chihaya is super cute, like a princess. Well, let's just find those friends of yours and all go back home together. Kishinuma and I will be glad to help you in your search, if you help us in ours. Sure thing, Maya. Come on, let's head back in before we both catch colds. So Oh, and Nana, I noticed you happen to have some bruises on your thigh. Did something happen? Huh? What? I didn't even know they were there. Maybe I got them when I was captured. I was pretty hysterical, so I don't have a very clear memory of everything that happened. Oh, okay. Sorry to ask such an awkward question. All done. About time. You were out there for way too long. I was starting to get really worried. Well, a woman's beauty takes time to mold. Anyway, while we're out searching for Sheik and the others, you mind if we also keep watch for Nana's friends? Of course I don't mind. Let's find everybody who doesn't belong here and get the hell out. You two ready to go? You bet. Alright, so they said that they searched pretty much everywhere. 
but like I don't know which areas we can go into now that are oh we can try for the um the science room Mai has a key still probably be a bad idea but Hey, Kishima, what's that? I can't really make it out very well, but something down there is definitely reflecting light. I wonder if we can get it. I seriously doubt it. This hole looks like it doesn't bottom out for a while. There could be a whole storehouse down there. Alright, so looking for some rope or a ladder. Can we... We can't go this way, can we now? Because there's a hole in the floor. Okay. Um, nothing else in this area? No. Okay, so we can't go this way. Um... Damn, now I don't know where to go. I wonder if, like, the... It's a terrible thought, but what if the, the girl's bathroom has, like, the noose in it from Seiko? It's very, very disturbing thought. But because, like, the objects seem to... I don't know, specifically objects having to do with death seem to transcend, like, the the close spaces. So Hmm, I don't know. Nothing over here. Oh, we could. Oh, there it is. It's also back there. So I wonder if we can have access to it from this side. Probably not. We probably need to like get the ladder or something. It's like a legitimate thing. But like, I kind of just want to see. It's a science room because I think from my view that was the other room that was locked. I'm gonna see if we can use that key to get into the science room. And then I wonder if Kisami's thing has already happened. Just a little bit creepy. Where's the music gone? Oh, hello. This was most likely a female junior or senior high school student. Though anything beyond that was impossible to determine, as everything above the waist was missing. Whoever killed this girl must have done it recently, as the wound was still fresh and the blood all over the floor was still wet. Her exposed intestines seemed to have been pulled out of her body and draped onto the floor where... They were then crushed flat like a worm under a big shoe. <laughs> this uniform is from my school. No, no. Who is this? Who is it? It's okay, Nana. Try to stay calm. Yeah, try not to think of the worst case scenario right off the bat. There's no reason to assume this is one of your friends. Nana was wrought with grief. She was shaking uncontrollably, to such an extent that her teeth were chattering. We gently led her out of the classroom. I wanted to get out of there myself, 
to be honest. Seeing a human body was so horribly mutilated was more than I could handle. There we go. Look at this note. Oh, I can't. Can we get... Uh, partially hidden under the body is a student name tag, which must have fallen from the missing torso. Musashi Musashigawa Girls Middle School, Hotoka Manome. Probably best to make sure Nana never sees this. That's not one of her friends, right? Oh, but it might be someone she knows, though. The door to classroom 1B is frozen in place, as if it's just a decoration on the wall that can't be opened. Cool, 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 cool. That's fine. One A is fine. We can go into one A. Yay! I wonder if the custodian's closet is still open. Cause there was like some stuff that I didn't get to do in there. Like look at the TV. It's an old yellowed class newsletter. Looks like they just cut an article out of the local newspaper and photocopied it. Child abduction and murder follow-up report. It's hard to imagine what the bereaved family and friends of the victims must be going through. Bereaved? Yeah. Classmates of the deceased will be dedicating memorial portraits and flowers in their honour, and the school chorus is slated to sing for them as well. I feel like I've read this already. That's okay. I think we're bored from there, so we can cross over that way. And I suppose we can pick it up if we need it for down here anywhere. Nothing. Is it 100% nothing? Nothing on the desk? No, it's just nothing. It's a bit odd. Oh no, there's a board here too. Okay. So we can cross over onto that other side of the hole. And there's the dead body from earlier that we helped out. Mm, isn't this the same note? There's something written here in chalk. It smells so good. The smell of tasty meat. Where is it coming from? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the same one from earlier. It's the girl I covered with a sheet earlier. Okay. We can go into here. So I'm guessing we can go into the lab if that's where the key goes to. The science lab door is locked up tight. Yeah, okay, so I'm pretty sure the key goes in there. It's gonna save here and then we'll use no, that's load go back save we use the key the door is locked up tight maybe that key we found will work here oh good no good guess it's the wrong lock Let's go... no, because my you won't go into the nurse, nurse's office. And it's not the reference room key. Let's just keep going down this way, I guess.
The door to the infirmary is frozen in place, as if it's just a decoration on the wall. It can't be opened. That's a bit odd, considering it was, it was able to be opened by Maya earlier. She just refused to go in it for good reason. Nothing. Nope. Then we can go down the stairs this way. So we'll have access to the rooms beyond that um, hole on the floor. Or not. No, I guess we might. Never mind then. Oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. I was just being dumb. Okay, so let's go to the girls' bathroom. Well, to the bathrooms. See if we can find anything here. Maybe the key goes to the custodian's closet? I think it was locked. Not sure though, I can't remember. Nothing through here. Hmm. It's completely boarded up. It won't be possible to get inside. That's new. I'm sure. There's another dead body here. Get that. What was that? It's probably. It's the remains of a student, completely decomposed into a skeleton. Based on its size and the uniform it's wearing, it was probably once a senior high school girl. There are deep scratches on the ground nearby, with several fingernails and even a few teeth adorning them, indicating the ferocity of her struggle. There's also a student ID name tag. Matsukaze Prefectural High School, Rena Sai Saiki. Saiki? So that means whatever's here would be new too, I think. So maybe there will be rope in there? Which again is a very depressing four, but that's the only one I've got right now. These sinks are like so mangled. There's some sort of thick buttery buildup in the drain. It smells rancid. Ugh, gross. <laughs> There's a small amount of standing water in the sink indicating a clogged drain. It's littered with dead flies. Yummy. Anything else we can do? Ooh. Wonderful. Thanks for that. We're just gonna keep doing that. Okay. All right, so let's go to um, let's go to the other side of the hallway through that upstairs, 
and if there's nothing there then we'll go down again and then go to where the custodian's closet is. And then otherwise we would have explored everywhere so either I'm missing something or I'm missing something. Hmm? Ooh, okay. This is new. Right. Yeah, this is this the if you didn't watch the previous episodes there was kind of like a little mystery for an in here where Mayu discovered like two two bodies of of like of girls and one of them of a of a, of a boy Sorry, that, that was weirdly <laughs> struggling to get out. But it turned out that the girl had fallen, one of the girls had fallen in love with the other one who was dating the guy and then murdered her because if she couldn't have her, no one could type thing. And so I, I'm wondering if this spirit is of that girl. I know she'll accept me. She has to. I want that body. I want it. Don't you dare try to take it from us. You all still have your own bodies. I'm afraid you won't be going any farther. Okay. My use got the protection thing though. Could I potentially like I'm gonna save? Could I potentially No, I can't. Anyway. Alright, whatever, fine. Goodbye. Downstairs we go. Alright, and now we'll go to... Alright, so we were just in there. So we'll go across this way. Uh, maybe I should go into the exit again. I'll go into the exit first. I'll just check this hall. Okay, go into the exit first. There's a crumpled up scrap of paper inside one of the shoe cubbies. It's a bit heavy, suggesting it serves as packing for some object wadded up within. Unraveling it reveals a small pile of long, whitish, stubby objects that, at first, seem like they may be candles or something, but in actuality... Are these... fingers? As in, human fingers? Ten in total. Every finger from both of some unfortunate victim's hands. The blood was still very much wet too, indicating that not much time had passed since these digits were severed. Wet soil was lodged under each finger, and faint remnants of colour here and there further indicated that the owner of these fingers had painted nails. <gasps> these nails... Nana? It's probably nothing. Don't worry. They belong to one of her friends, so they- Ooh, the darkening has gotten worse. It's all, like, woobly now. It's probably still locked up tight. Alright. My use that full on freaking out. It's gone complete darkness now. Well, the darkening. I don't know. As you you become evil, essentially. And then like something's gonna happen while we explore these last rooms, and then somebody's gonna go running off. I 
I think Naomi is the only confirmed character so far that has like beaten their own darkening. So I, I wonder about Mayu. What's gonna happen to her? Like, is she gonna be strong enough to fight against it? Or will she do something under the influence of it? I don't get it. When Shinazaki and I came in here before, this room was different. There's this place, man. It does things to you. There's something all over every one of these shelves. It's like someone emptied out buckets full of small black beans. On closer inspection, they seem to be dead flies. Hundreds upon hundreds of them. Note. Are you certain you're on the right path? Is it really okay to trust her? Ooh. It's the partially decomposed corpse of a student. Judging by size and uniform, this was likely a male middle school student. The back of his head seems to be completely smashed in, suggesting he was probably killed from behind with a blunt weapon. A student ID name tag can be seen partially lodged under one of his bony arms. Takine Municipal Middle School Teru Arai. Well, there's a weird door at the end of this hole earlier. Is it still there? And can we use it? Let's see, just in case. The door is locked up tight. Maybe that key we found will work here. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna go... No. Oh. Use it. No good. Guess it's the wrong lock. Alright. 5A and this other room and then that's it. I don't know where else to go. The door to classroom 5A is frozen in place as if it's just a decoration on the wall. It can't be opened. That's fine, that's fine. Nothing around, nope. Alright, last two places I can go to. The door to the custodian's closet is oh, it's frozen in place as if it's just a decoration on the wall. It can't be opened. Sad. I thought I would be able to get in there. Nothing around here. Alright, there's gonna be some place I gotta loop back around to because of her darkening thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a bit of a look-see to see where I'm meant to go next, and I'll see you all in a second. Alright, I am back, and we're just heading to the locker room to pick up the bandages from um, from earlier events where Nana was tied up using the bandages. So... That's what I read that we had to do next. I tried not to read like fully ahead and just to just give myself this like one hint. Ah, uh, there they are. See them on the floor. It's the gauze bandages that were used to tie up Nana. Maybe we can use these as a makeshift rope. Take the bandages. I gathered up the loose bandages and handed them to Kishinuma. Kishinuma then obediently pulled them taut in a few places to test their tensile strength. There's definitely enough here to work with, and as long as we fold it over enough times, I don't think there'd be any risk of it tearing. There are two strips too. We can probably twist them together and the end result should be about as sturdy as a real rope. 
and so we folded both strips of gauze in half, then twisted the two double ply strips together to form something that resembled a braid. I had done something similar to this once before when making rope-like decorations for theatre costumes, so it didn't prove to be particularly difficult. Sorry, like my voice is trying to leave me. It almost felt like rope making 101. In 10 minutes time, presto, we had a do-it-yourself rope in our hands. Granted, it was pretty flimsy compared to the resin ropes you might buy at a home center, but it seemed like it would hold one person's weight just fine. Is there anything else in here that I need to know about? It's gonna be like Mayu dies trying to do this. It's gonna suck, isn't it? Someone's gonna die. Betcha. With our handy dandy rope, one of us should be able to get down into that hole and fish out whatever that glinting thing is, no? Maybe, but there's nothing to tie the rope to on this end, so I think somebody up here is going to have to hold on to it. If Nana and I work together, we should be able to hold the rope long enough for you to get whatever's down there and climb back up, I think. Oh, <laughs> poor Kishinuma. He's like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm resigned to this now, I guess. So you've already decided I'm the one who's going, huh? Would the two of us really be able to hold him, though? Wouldn't it be better for the boy to hold the rope and one of us girls get the object? I don't know if I could do it, honestly. I'm not very good at sports or anything. Even if I made it down, I'm not sure I could climb back up. Then how about I go? You? Do you think you'd be able to? You were just bound with these bandages not too long ago and almost died. Would you really want to have them tied around your body again? I should be fine. I'll do whatever I have to do if it means I can see Nadi and the others again. I can relate. I'll do whatever I have to in order to see Shig again, too. You're very brave, Nana, especially for how young you are. It's kind of incredible. But, Kishinuma, I really think I should be the one to go. Shig, everyone always bends over backwards to help me. From Shig's point of view, I must really seem like a helpless child sometimes. This is how she dies, 100%. But just this once, I want to be the reliable one. I want to protect Nana and lead her home safely. I don't really mind either way, honestly. Ugh. I don't want to look, but I also don't want to go through... Alright, I'm gonna. I'm just going to check and I'm going to see what the right, right option is. Just in case. Because... I'm running out of time, so I don't want to have to go through... The... Okay. Alright. 
step up. Okay, that should do it. Isn't it a little tight? It's hurting my stomach. Better than slipping out and falling, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Alright, lower me down slowly, okay? Please be careful, Mayu. I've tied some knots at regular intervals to help make it easier for you to climb back up. That sounds great. Thanks, Nana. So nerve-wracking. And there we go. I made it! Everything okay? How's it look down there? It's kind of dark, and there's a really nasty smell. Oh, sweet summer child, that would be all the dead bodies. It was too dark to see my surroundings clearly, but I could instantly sense an oppressive atmosphere all around me. This was not a good place to be. Oh! Oh, I get to examine all of you. Hello. What is that? Oh. Oh. How lovely. There are a large number of dead bodies scattered throughout the room. Most seem to have died long ago, having decayed into proper skeletons, but a small handful seem fresh as if they were alive only yesterday. Here too, huh? So what, do I just... Or do I specifically look for the object? It's a girl's body. This is one of the ones that seem like a more recent death. So recent, in fact, that there's still a hint of body heat to her. All of her fingers have been cut off, and her tongue seems to have been removed as well. Her student ID name tag is clearly displayed on her jacket. Musashigawa Girls Middle School, Hikari Kirigami. <gasps> This is the same school uniform as the one Nana wears, and when we rescued her, she called out several names. Wasn't one of them Hikari? I don't think I can bring myself to tell Nana about this. There's something on the ground next to Hikari's body, reflecting what little light there is down here. Is this what we saw from above? It's a small glass bottle filled to about two-thirds mark with a clear liquid. Wonder what this is? Looks like it could be water. Having acquired the item we sought and not wanting to stay down in this hole even a moment longer than I had to, I gave the rope a triumphant tug. Kishinuma, I got it. <laughs> he's uh, he's so like um what's the word? He's so he's so soft on the inside. He's just like a nice big teddy bear. Like he's like, oh, I'm a delinquent love, but then he's like, yeah, nice going, Susan What though? And now get the hell out of there, or I can pull you up. No, I should be fine. It's not even 10 meters deep down here. I can climb it. 
Almost there. Grab my hand. Phew. Nice job on climbing out of there. Oh, I am so beat though. It didn't seem that high, but my arms and legs are trembling right now. I'll definitely be feeling this tomorrow. Well, you did good. So what did you end up finding? Uh, well, this. The heck is it? Sake? It doesn't smell or anything. I think it's just water. Oh, no, that's a holy water. Holy water? My friend Hikari had a bottle just like it. It's a kind of protective charm, supposedly infused with the power of a famous spiritual medium. It's the ability to ward off evil, and some people believe it grants luck with money or love when kept in your bag. Sounds pretty sketchy to me. No, it's totally legit. It's been endorsed by that spirit medium who appears on TV, Naho Sayanoki. Sayanoki? Oh, yeah, her. I guess if she says it's the real deal, then it's possible there may be something to it. You've heard of her, Kishinuma? I'm a little surprised by that, I have to admit. Is this something you can buy? You can get it online, but in Hikari's case, her dad works for the TV station and got a bottle of it directly from Naho after taping. Do you think this could be Hikari's bottle? Don't tell me Hikari's down there. Hmm? I... I don't know. Maybe it's someone else's. Or maybe Hikari dropped her bottle down the hole. Shinozaki's really into this stuff too. There are probably a lot of girls who brought these. Yeah, you're probably right. And then, I know what we do with the bottle now too. We're gonna go all the way over... I gotta go up the stairs first. I'm gonna go all the way back to the spirits that are in front of the staircase leading to the reference room. So all the way up here. And then we use the holy water on them and we ward them away. And then I think once I do that I'm gonna have to end the episode, so... I don't know, depends on what happens next. So. Yeah, 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 whatever. Damn it all. Doesn't look like they're going to be letting us through too easily. Shame these aren't real flames, or we could just douse them with water. 
How about we try using that holy water on them? It was recommended by a spiritual medium, after all. So hot, it burns like acid. Damn you all, you're still alive. Isn't that enough? May death soon come for you too. With this, one of the red spirit flames flew directly at me in what was clearly meant as a hostile action. This is Molotov, watch out! Kishinomo quickly leaped in front of me, hands out, taking the full brunt of the spirit's attack in my place. Then, all three flames simply disappeared. Kishinomo-kun! <laughs> Jeez, take it easy. I'm fine. I just burned my hand a little, that's all. I'm so sorry. I should have been paying closer attention. I've got some stick-on bandages in my bag somewhere. Let's see. Huh? What? What's wrong? Hmm? Oh. Nothing. Here you go. Ah, please allow me to show me where you got burned. Thanks a bunch. And Suzumoto, seriously, what's wrong? Well, I seem to have lost my student ID. I probably dropped it when I was climbing down into that hole. Isn't that it, it in your hand? No, this belongs to the deceased girl in the school entranceway. I picked it up earlier. I held up the student ID so Kishinuma could get a better look at it. It was clear from its design alone, after all, that it wasn't a Kisaragi ID. I probably should have left it there, but, well, I was all alone and scared and thought maybe I'd learned something useful from it, you know? No, I think that's perfectly reasonable. We've got to do whatever it takes to reunite with everyone and get the hell out of this school. You mind if I take a look at it? Sure. I don't think you'll find anything too helpful in it, though. Hmm? Some kind of doodle on this page. Oh, it's a box that Kishinuma found earlier! It's a box? I wonder what it means! The memo page Kishinuma opened to was ringed with bloody, sticky fingerprints. And centered among them was a rough sketch of a box drawing ballpoint pen, along with numerous lines of text written in rough, shaky letters. They seem to have been written with an excessive amount of force, resulting in countless black splotches and small tears in the paper. Small te tears? Tears. I think Ayaka is going to kill Ao. I need to hide her. Ao is mine, and mine alone. She must be protected. If I hide it in that box, no one will ever find it. Ao, I love you so much. These words were written over and over again, with the ink getting blotchier and more haphazard each time. Doesn't the box in the picture look an awful lot like this one? 
I mean, I know we found it pretty far from the entranceway, but still. You're right, it really does. Isn't this a keyhole? Oh, hey, you're right. I wonder if... Maybe that key I found will fit the lock. Kishinuma and Nana were both watching me expectantly as I produced the rusty key from my bag. I inserted it into the log. It fit! Crossing my fingers, I began turning. And met with no resistance at all. It was the right key. The lid popped up and nostalgic music started to play. It's a music box? I had no idea. I think I've heard this song before too. And I have to end it there. I am all out of time. I'm so sorry. I know we're, I think we're getting close to the end of this. So hopefully um, the next episode won't be too short. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos on my channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.